Even a rise of half a metre, you're looking at 800 million people around the world being flooded from their homes. They want to go to the, the Arctic, the Canadian Arctic, uh, this winter, and they're going to install four pumps over an area of one square kilometre on the sea ice, and they're going to test it. And they are going in with an open mind, OK? So they're not saying this is going to fix the climate mm. or fix the Arctic. They want to test this out there in the wild. Uh, and they say that you can't have an argument over geoengineering, does it work or is it just science fiction, uh, without evidence. And that's what science does. It goes out there, it gets evidence, and then you can have an informed debate. You, you're one of those rare people that has actually been to both poles. You've seen firsthand. What is specifically the issue globally with the polar ice caps losing their ice? What happens at the poles affects us all. That is the message again and again I've been told by scientists who are studying uh, both poles. Uh, and if Antarctica goes, and that is, that's a huge continent, that's 58 metres mm -hmm. of extra sea level that we're going to see. Now think about, uh, about the UK. Well, it would completely change the coastline. And even a rise of half a metre, you're looking at 800 million people around the world being flooded from their homes. So 58 metres, just a Imagine.